then how did how did Andover get you ready for playing D one football and basketball? I mean, coming out of high school, like I I felt like I was I was prepared, I was in good shape, but like another year, right? Um, you know, being able to play, being able to lift, being able to play against like better competition. Um, like going to a public high school um, was a great experience for me. Um, but, um, you know, when you come up to a place like this, like there are other people who are sort of dudes at their public high school who are really good athletes at their public high school. Um, and um, one of the things that this place offered was um, like the all of these coaches and it's something that like, I think is really important now. All of these coaches, um, they may be coming to see our best player in the gym, but they have a chance to see like all the other players too, right? So the exposure here um, is sort of one of the key factors in what makes this experience, like from an athletic perspective, um, so attractive. And so, um, you know, I, I lifted a lot here. I had a lot of free time, like outside of classes and sports. And so like I had to figure out how was I going to use that time? Um, the classes here were, were more challenging than they were at my public school because the kids who come to this place, um, they want to be here, right? They're applying to be here because they know that they're, they're going to be challenged in the classroom. And so um, I had teachers here who, who pushed me in ways that I had never been pushed before at a public high school because the kids at my public high school, like there were kids who like really loved school. And then there were kids, they went to school because they had to, but they didn't necessarily want to be here, whereas everybody in the classroom here wanted to be here. Um, and so I, I think I was a better student, um, like outside of like the work that I was doing in the classroom. I went and got extra help when I needed it. Like I, I never had to do that um, at, at my public school. And so being able to, to sort of develop that skill of asking for help and advocating for myself, um, you know, academically, but also outside of the, the class and with sports and things like that. Like um, if I wanted to get better, right, um, I could reach out to my coach. He was right on campus and say, hey, coach, can you open up the gym? Or coach, you have time to shoot with me? Or, you know, if there were other guys on campus, like I, I tried to take advantage of all the opportunities I had at this place to sort of prepare myself as, as well as I possibly could um, for when I when I was no longer going to be at a place like this. And I just think the transition in a lot of different ways, whether it was in the classroom or outside of the classroom, um, was just made so much easier because of um, some of the lessons and some of the things that I sort of, you know, adversity that I dealt with when I was a student here um, for that one year.